Hey guys, Bray Pohar from Get Crafty Crafty, and today we're going to be turning fresh strawberries into homemade fruit roll up. This project does take a good amount of time to put together, but the wait is definitely worth it just because you get to make these really tasty, really fresh fruit roll ups. Let's go ahead and get started with today's project. The items that you'll need for today's project include 4 cups of fresh strawberries, 1 tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice, a medium sized cooking pot, a blender or a hand blender, parchment paper, a baking tray, access to a hot plate or a stove, access to an oven, and as an optional step to this project, you can add 2 thirds of sugar to make a sweeter fruit roll up. To start off this project, you want to make sure that your strawberries have been cleaned and washed. Carefully remove the top of your strawberries. If you need the help or supervision from an adult, make sure you get it and then place them directly into your cooking pot. After cutting your four cups of strawberries, add your one tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice and your optional two thirds of a cup of sugar to make your fruit roll-ups a little more sweet. Carefully using your hand blender, you want to mix up all your ingredients together and make sure that your strawberries have been smashed to a nice little pulp. You want to make sure that you've mixed all of your strawberries together so you don't have any leftover lumps or bits in your puree. Once you've pureed your strawberries, your lemon juice, and your sugar, you're going to bring it to a medium to high heat to remove all of the excess water and to get a nice thick consistency. It's going to take about 30 to 40 minutes to remove all of that excess water. Throughout the cooking process, you're going to occasionally mix your puree. But toward the end, as it gets thicker, you're going to definitely mix it a little bit more. You want to cook this to the point where it starts to thicken and look like tomato sauce. After heating up your puree, you want to line your baking sheet with parchment paper. Carefully take your puree and you're going to pour it onto your baking sheet with your parchment paper. Using your spatula, you're going to evenly distribute your puree so that you have a nice evenly spread out layer on your parchment paper. After you've laid out your puree, you're going to put this in a 200 degree oven and do a slow bake for about three hours. This is going to allow the puree to stiffen up and become your fruit roll up. After about three hours worth of baking, most of the moisture should have evaporated from your fruit roll up and it should have become stiff. You want to wait an additional 20 minutes for it to cool before you start cutting into it. To cut your fruit roll up so that it starts to actually look like fruit roll up, you're going to take your knife and you're going to carefully cut one end of your parchment paper. And then, on the other end, you're going to roll it up so that it looks like fruit roll-up. Take the side that you cut, and then just carefully roll it toward the other side. You want to start off tight so that it creates that nice roll, and continue to roll it until it reaches the other side of your fruit roll-up. Keep rolling until you reach the end. Once you've made your roll, carefully take your knife and cut it into slices. It's going to be a little tough since there's a lot of chewy fruit roll up right in there, but you want to continue to cut it at one inch increments so that you have a nice little roll. Once you have that, you'll be able to roll it open to reveal your homemade fruit roll up. The cool thing about this parchment paper is that it makes it easy to release from your fruit roll up so that you have this tasty little treat. These fruit roll-ups can last about a week if you store them in a Ziploc bag or any other airtight container and you store them in your refrigerator. Because they're homemade, you're able to control the amount of sugar that goes into your fruit roll-up. And as you guys can see, since they're on parchment paper, they're pretty easy to rip off and enjoy as a really fun and tasty on-the-go treat. Really chewy, really natural, and it just tastes like really fresh, sweet strawberries. I'm gonna actually eat these throughout the rest of the week just because they're that convenient to eat. They are a little chewy, and it does make it a little hard to speak, but the taste is definitely worth it. If you guys are interested in checking out two of my other cooking videos, make sure you check out my Harry Potter Golden Snitch Chocolate Orbs and my Watermelon Slurpee video. If you guys are looking for a few other videos, check out my last two videos, which were the Taco Piñata and my ALC Recap video. Make sure to watch that video till the very end for a fun little announcement. And yeah, if you guys do make this project, make sure you share it with me either on my Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter using the Get Crafty Crafty hashtag. I always enjoy seeing your guys' finished projects. And yeah, 
I'm gonna finish this guy up. Hopefully you guys had fun watching this project. I'll see you guys next time. Take care and stay crafty.